welcome to another installment of Marking Time and Alliance, a series of programs in which we visit various historical markers and other historical and interesting sites in and around the city of Alliance, Ohio. I'm your host, Jim Perrone, and today we're at Glamorgan Castle visiting the Thomas Reese Morgan Memorial. Dedicated to the patriarch of the Morgan family, this monument is a remembrance of the life and work of Thomas Reese Morgan, founder of Morgan Engineering. Born in Glamorganshire, Wales, Mr. Morgan began working at the age of eight in a coal mine and lost a leg in an accident in the mine at the age of 10. This accident fortunately allowed him to attend school for three years and then become a machinist and mechanic. Knowing that America was the land of opportunity, he set sail for New York at the age of 30 with his wife and three young children to attain a better life for his family. After working in Pennsylvania for several years, Morgan learned of a business opportunity to start his own factory and alliance in 1871. His inventions were many, with the overhead traveling crane, patented in 1881, being the most famous and important in his career. The monument was unveiled to the public on October 28, 1899, but not at its current location. A large group of people assembled at the Morgan Engineering Factory, which served as the monument's home for its first 80 years. It was relocated on the Morgan campus to the East Broadway entrance gate in approximately 1979. The tablet and bronze relief includes a portrait of Mr. Morgan at the center top and two tablets on either side. The tablet on the left gives a biographical sketch of Mr. Morgan and the tablet on the right includes an excerpt from a eulogy delivered by Morgan's close friend, President William McKinley, on November 1, 1897 as he traveled through Alliance two months after Morgan's death. Two angels rest between Morgan's likeness and the tablets. One is holding an engineer's square and a set of drawings, while the other holds a hammer, both representing Morgan's profession as an engineer. The sandstone monument, designed and constructed by Cleveland sculptor Joseph Carabelli, is 15 feet high and weighs approximately 13 tons. The carvings on the monument include items significant to Morgan's life. The front center panel depicts a Morgan steam hammer. The columns include mining images of a miner's pick, shovel, pry bar, and rope, significant for his early life in Wales. A T-square and triangle, along with other engineering symbols and gear, represent his engineering career. The back side of the monument includes a depiction of an overhead traveling crane, along with other Morgan engineering products, such as a gun carriage, torpedoes, a gear, a ship, and a mobile gun platform. The monument consists of seven sections, allowing for its dismantling at the Morgan engineering campus and reassembling on the grounds of Glamorgan Castle on August 28, 1984, by Kent's Construction Company. Morgan Engineering donated the monument to the Alliance City Schools. TR's son, Colonel William Henry Morgan, who became president of the company after his father's death, built Glamorgan Castle. Thanks again for joining us for this installment of Marking Time and Alliance on our visit to Glamorgan Castle and the Thomas Reese Morgan Memorial. We'll see you next time on Down the Road.